Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Supreme Dragon probably brings to you deck profile. Don't forget to like, subscribe buttons down below. Check me out on Facebook. Leave a comment down below what you think of my Bujin deck. So to start things off, we have three copies of Yamato, the main guy of the deck. Everyone knows this. I run two copies of Mikazuchi. Uh, if any Beast War is destroyed, you can special summon him and then continue on with your plays. I also run two Arasuda. When you remove something from play, you can special summon this in defense position. And three copies of Harume, which combos with Arasuda. You banish for Harume's effect, special summon him, special summon Arasuda, and then you still have your normal summon for that turn. Uh, that does it for our Beast Warriors for the day. Run just two copies of Turtle. Uh, protects any of your Beast Warriors from being targeted. Two copies of Hair protects from being destroyed once a turn by either card effect or by battle. Uh, just one copy of Quillen for that random face up pop, just in case you need it. And three copies of uh, Crane, double your original attack during damage step or damage calculation. And the one copy of Honest, since this is an all light deck, rounds out our light monsters and monsters for this deck. For spells, three copies of Tinky. Search out your Yamato or any other Beast Warrior you need. Three copies of MST to take care of problematic uh, spell and trap cards. Three Pot of Duality to help speed up and search through for your Yamato. Uh, two copies of Bujin Carnation. This way, if you have they control a monster and you don't, special summon. Uh, one from your graveyard, one from your banished zone. This is great late game. Uh, just one copy of Rank Up Magic, the seventh one. Uh, when I go through my extra deck, I'll show you why. Uh, I'm running just the one copy. It's a great way to get a special summon and get a good card all in the field. And finally, one copy of Soul Charge. Uh, everyone know what Soul Charge does. You uh, can't conduct your battle phase, but you can special summon up to five monsters onto the field for a thousand life points each. That does it for our spell cards. Now for our traps, three copies of Wiretap. Uh, this gets rid of any, this way I don't have to worry about anything like Mirror Force, uh, Bottomless, Torrential, uh, anything like that. That just gets rid of it back to the deck. Three copies of Breakthrough Skill. Very good card. And, uh, if you need to get off uh, specific play and then there's a specific monster negating that play you can just activate this negate that effect to the end of the turn and then if it's in your graveyard you can use it again during your turn but only if it wasn't sent there the turn you used it and two copies of vanity's emptiness the reason I run vanity's emptiness is that way if I need to sit on your motto for a turn or two I can as well as or if I've got an exceeds on the field I can go into that then activate vanities to keep my opponent from doing anything and just kind of sit on my one or two cards. So yeah, that's why I run those. Uh, now for the extra deck. Uh, a lot of one-offs like uh, Exiton Knight to nuke the field. Uh, don't really go into that unless you're already at a disadvantage as it is. And this way you can gain your advantage back. Uh, Diamond Direwolf, since this is a Beast Warrior Beast and Wing Beast type deck. I can use uh, Dire Wolf for random pops as well to help clear the field. Uh, Cowboy in case I need to get over something or in case I need to inflict that extra 800 uh, burn damage for game. Abyss Dweller to negate things in the graveyard. Uh, Tiger King to help me get out another Tinky, that way I can get my searches off. Uh, Heartland Draco, as long as you control uh, Tinky or, or Vanities, uh, this card cannot be targeted by battle or by battle, and you can detach and attack directly. Uh, number 80, Rhapsody and Berserk. This way I can banish up to two cards in my opponent's graveyard, and then equip it to an Exceeds monster and it gains 1200 attack. Uh, number 103, Ragna Zero for the Mirror Match and Fire Fist. Uh, monsters with a higher attack, detach, destroy them. 101 in case I need to get around a problematic special summon card. C101 which does the exact same thing but just has 2800 more attack and this is uh, why I'm playing the rank up magic. So that way I can go into this uh, and 101 when this gets destroyed it comes back I gain 2800 and I can still 
Still a special summon monster. Constellar Omega to protect itself from spells or traps, plus it's a beast warrior. It goes with the tanky play. Uh, two copies of Susano. Either add the hand or send the graveyard. And it can attack all monsters on the field once per battle phase. One Kagasuchi, that's really all you need. Mail five, it gains 100 for each one. Uh, detached material cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. And just the one Amaterasu takes three of them. Uh, let's me get back a uh, monster from my graveyard or one of my banished zone. So it's a really good card for uh, recycling cranes and things like that. Now for my extra deck choices, I run two copies of the new Sinew. It's like an additional Honest in the graveyard. Plus it's a, another uh, Bujan card so that way it helps power up some of the other stuff. Uh, two copies of Max C for the Dragons matchups, that way I can keep cards in hand. Uh, one Mind Control, mainly for mirror matches and anything that uses level 4s. Uh, one Foolish Burial, that way I can get my Quillen, Turtle, or Hare to the graveyard faster. Uh, two copies of Swords of Concealing Light, this way I can put stuff face down for a couple of turns and not have to deal with it so I can regain my advantage. Two copies of Debunk. Uh, this negates monster effects in hand, field, or graveyard, so that's good for that. Uh, two copies of Curse Seal of Forbidden Spell. Like, say your opponent activates MST, you activate this. They can no longer use MST for the rest of that duel, or Tinky, or Soul Charge, or whatever else. Uh, two copies of Mind Crush. Uh, this way, when you're facing like mirror matches, uh, spell books, things like that, that add a lot of cards to hand. This way you can go ahead and get rid of all their cards in their hand. And the final card is Booge Incident. Uh, this is the new trap card that came out in Primal Origins. Uh, this is where if you have an Xyz monster on the field, or a Booge and Xyz on the field, uh, return everything on their field to the hand. Neither player can special summon for two turns, and then you special summon your or you remove from play your Xyz monster and then get it back on your second turn and equip this to it as an Xyz material. So yeah, that's been my Bujin deck profile. Don't forget to like and subscribe buttons down below. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook. This has been Don't leave a comment what you think of the deck. This is Supreme Dragon, signing out.